a very good evening to everyone present over here. Uh, so my topic for today's presentation is Power Query and Custom GPTs for Scrutiny in the Company Audit. So this is the topic for my presentation. Uh, so let me start with uh, my presentation first. So the company audit can be divided, can be basically divided into two categories. The first one would be the data scrutiny part, means where we have to check the uh, books of accounts and find the errors in the books of account. And the second would be the reporting part. The reporting part in the sense that uh, uh, we have to report about in the independence auditor report. So I think the second part cannot be automated much. So here I am with my solution uh, for uh, for automating the scrutiny part of the company audit or any kind of the audit report. So, so basically, uh, let me first start with the basic data flow which exists for the company audit. So the data flow which is being exist for the company audit is this. So the process flow for uh, the company audit, it can be basically divided into uh, two approaches for doing it. First is the power query approach and second is the custom GPT approach. The power query approach is generally usable in the cases uh, where, where the requirements are fixed and the rules are fixed. So suppose we have to uh, filter out the cash transactions greater than 10,000. So the requirement is very fixed that uh, first I will go to the tally, I will filter out uh, 10,000 entries and the report will come. So this can be done with power query. It is called as rule based AI. And second is additional report. So suppose I have done 10, uh, 10 reports in power query, but still I want the 11th report. So that can be done during the GPT. So what is the problem with the current GPT is that you cannot directly connect the tally prime to the chat GPT. But uh, what you can do is is that at using tally prime a custom tdl will pass that will pass the data to power query and power query will clean the data and it will pass to excel and this excel can be uploaded in uh, in the gpt so uh, let me show this by doing so this is my tally company and this is my utility uh, named as tally data uh, it will first let me clean the data let me clear the uh, sheet so just i will uh, select refresh and all, all the data will pull up. All the data will pull up and all the transaction data also might have pull up. So these are the ledgers which are in the company and these are the transactions which have been happened, happened over the company. So, so but with the using the GPTs, you can now talk to this data and generate any report you want. Not only audit report, but any kind of scrutiny report you want. So I will just upload in my custom GPT which I, which I have prepared. So here is the custom GPT which uh, I have prepared. It is called as the audit maker GPT. So for purpose of the saving time, I already have uploaded the Excel sheet because it takes some three to four minutes to uh, analyze all the 20,000 plus vouchers which are present in the company. So now say, let uh, I want a prompt. Now let me give some prompts to the GPT and show how it can be uh, useful for the audit. So I want the top five uh, expenses which have been occurred during the year. Top five indirect expenses which have been incurred during the year. So I will just give a command that in master sheets, Show me the top five closing balances which have been incurred and has primary group equal to indirect expenses. So it will take actually it takes some time to process the things, and after processing it will give a result which will be hundred percent accurate. So I meanwhile it does. Let me show you what kind of the prompts are more possible. Suppose I want for each for each expense give me the maximum and the minimum entry which has occurred during the during the year. So just I will copy this from and do it. This might be done, I think. See, this is done. It has given the top five expenses which have I incurred during the year, and it is very easy. Now I, I want to uh, I want to check whether company has done any transaction during Sundays or national holidays. So just I will press in the voucher sheet, filter out transaction done on national holidays as per India. We need to define what are national holidays as per India. So basically it's Gandhi Jayanti, 15th August. And uh, uh, so I think it will take that only, but sometimes it takes Sundays also. See Republic Day, Independence Day, Gandhi Jayanti, Holy Diwali and Christmas. So in these days, whatever the transactions which have happened, it will directly filter out, which is very difficult as per doing as per the uh, manual scenario. Now let me uh, talk something more specific about the company audit. The in company audit, the transaction with the directors and related party are, are quite red flag means we have to uh, put more audit efforts there. So here it has already given the national holidays transaction. See, first one is 15th August, that's why it has given. So now let me tell, okay, that this is the director of the company, summarize the transaction with him and also indicate if there is non-compliance as per section 185 and 186 of company right. Now, as soon as I will give the command, it will process and uh, 
and it will give the list of the details with the transaction. We need to define who is the director or who is the rated party. The GPT will not know that GPT after it will summarize the transactions. So it, meanwhile, it is done up. Let me show you some Caro kind of reports where Caro can be used to, uh, I can directly generate the GPT to okay, draft the uh, class three PP for me. It will directly generate the class three PP for from directly from Tally. So it has already done transition summary. It's taking 10 seconds per, I think not more than that. So, so next is the Caro report. I want to generate. I want GPT to generate Caro report and I'm giving the format. Okay, that this is the format, Excel format. You have to generate me in this format only. I will directly use for my auditor report. So, so as soon as I give it, it will, it will do it. This, it's working. It takes time actually for this kind of queries because it will have to fit the data. But, uh, so, but I have done it uh, earlier also today. So let me show you from directly from that only. So. So I did actually uh, aging analysis. Aging analysis I did. Uh, let me show the aging analysis only. Uh, we want in the exactly format. Okay, the, uh, the traditional company at format. Aging analysis how we can see. This is the I have uploaded uh, less than six months, six months to one year, one year to two year, two year to three year. That is the government preset format. I have uh, instructed it uh, that uh, take primary group equal to Sunday data and do aging as required by company Z. So it has already given me the aging analysis report. So nothing was to be done here. It has already given the uh, the aging analysis report. Now let me try Caro once again. Maybe it has stopped. So just I'm pasting the image okay, that I want in this format. So after that, it will generate responding. In, it, it takes about two minutes for some difficult kind of queries like Caro. It has stopped and it will generate the Caro report. So meanwhile, it generates. And let me skip to the second part of the presentation that is rule based AI. Rule based AI actually means the power query part of the uh, of the presentations. It is generated by the way, uh, uh, Caro report exact in exact format. This is the asset, asset name directly based from Delhi. This is the, the WTV and held in name of whether the provider it cannot know actually. So it has given all the ranks. So anything is possible. Just you have to type and it will get the reports from the Delhi. So second part is the, the main uh, power query reports. So what the power query can do actually is, uh, it can automate your day-to-day -day processes. So as soon as, so this sheet, let me first clean the sheet. And uh, this is showing I'm of a GST scrutiny in company audit. Means in the company audit, how I can do the GST scrutiny. The sheet is completely blank. Now as soon as I press the refresh button, the, the things will start off coming. See, all the things will come as soon as I press the refresh button. The current it is blank and now it has come all the, so basically company audit involves the GST part, income tax part and the company's tax part. All three have to be done at a single time. So Thank now you. I'm showing the, okay. so now I'm showing the GST part uh, because the GST part is very, uh, very fast it can do. So this is a configuration fee tool, maybe zero configuration it requires. And just by the use of, I have integrated power query with the AI. So these kind of commands have given all the GST related reports. Means what are the GST related faults in the account? It will be generated as soon as I just click the refresh. This is the final button and all the things will be generated from here. See. And after now, the, all the things have been generated. They, these are the ledgers in which CGST is not equal to SGST. And these are the ledgers in which ITC has been taken. These are the ledgers in which output tax has been paid. And this party, the transaction was done. These are the value of supply rules. Actually, there are no observation in this company. And these are the comparison with 3B. These are comparison with ITC. These are, this is the RCM. And similarly for the income tax module and the general ledger, all things are covered scrutiny of sales, income, expense, purchase, cash, PP, capital, related party, loans, debtors, creditors. This, it contains over 100 plus reports which can be used for any audit. And at least 90% time you will save by combining Power Query with chat GPT. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Umay Gupta, sir, for such a good session on Power Query uh, X Custom GPT for security and company audit. He described what company audit is, where he explained how Chat GPT can be used with the help of 
Tele Prime and Excel to generate detailed report on company audit. He also showed different prompts that can be used for the same. Thank you, sir, for such an informative session.